we're going to dismantle a Amol monoblock carburetor for cleaning and uh, then we're going to have assembly after that. So first of all we can take this off, don't need this, a lot of carbs won't even have this. This is the old uh, fuel pipe and it's all hard and everything so we won't need that. So that will probably come out. Inlet piece here is uh, plastic so we won't dip this in our cleaning solution so we'll take that off. Some amos we're gonna have this as aluminum piece which you can dip. So we're gonna take this off and the filter here we're gonna take that off as well. Okay now this is the tickler we can dismantle that so we can get a nice nice and clean then these uh, this rubber piece the seal here that will take off the top we'll take that off the slide will take out as well okay and this uh, we can leave it as is and then we can dip it and then uh, we'll see just make sure this uh, the pin here that's straight okay what else we got here so we're gonna take off these the three screws that's where the fuel reservoir is See all this brown stuff is the gasoline uh, from all these years, just crusted on it. It doesn't look too bad inside, but we're going to rebuild it. So these, these seals here, technically you should, you should put new ones, those will come off. Then the bottom, um, bottom comes off, these come off, there's a seal here which also will save and these are the jets so those you can take apart so we can dip them. So it would be like that. Now over here is the fuel stopper, this one that goes in here and this the brass side fa faces the where the fuel stopper is now keep this in mind there's a little distance piece that goes right there so make sure you don't lose that this one and this one we don't need to dip so this is made out of plastic, sometimes made out of brass, but this one we won't dip. And even this one, the fuel stopper. This doesn't need to be opened for cleaning, but we just want so the the solution can go all over there. Um, let's see what else. These two don't have to be opened but we're just gonna take them out so we can get to all the threads and everything. And So there is another jet here which has a little washer, a ceiling washer, that one will save as well. And we will take 
this jet out as well. Oh, good. So this is the rest of the body here. It doesn't seem to have any plastic or felt thing in it. So this will get dipped as well, all these parts over here. Well, this is the assembly part of the AMO monoblock. These are all the clean parts, the jets and all screws and all. And that's the body. That's the slide. So all parts been cleaned up. Now we're going to assemble them now. We're going to start with the body here. Um, if there's any water or any other thing, you can blow them out. Make it nice and clean, uh, dry. So we're going to start with where the uh, fuel comes in. We're going to make it snug tight. That should be good enough. Next thing will be the tickler. So that will go through here. The spring goes on here. And there it goes right in there. That too a snug tight. The next part we can put is we put the filter and the feed and the screw. And if you have a, one of these in aluminum, there might be a, a washer in here. This will just hang tight for now because we don't know where the fuel line is going to go. Next is to assemble the jets the bottom part this jet goes on the bottom Stick tight on there <coughs> the top And then we're going to use the washer and to the body. And that should be good. And then this is the bottom drain plug. Okay, now we can put the side jet in here. This is the one that has that small washer that goes on it. This will get tightened all the way. A little washer and the cap. Now we can put the idler screw and then we'll set that later on. We just, we'll just want to have it on here. Then the fuel mixture or actually right here. And that too we'll set it later. And this is for the inside slide holder. this we can tighten all the way okay now we gotta go to the fuel bowl we gotta put the fuel stopper right in here and then we gotta put the float and then this one says ammo front so this will go this way 
and don't forget to put the, the little brass piece there so that part is done then we'll have a washer that would go on here cap and the three screws and these will tighten all the way So we're almost there. Now this part, you can wait till you put it on the bike, but we do have this rubber washer that will go on here. And this will go when the bike's on. Um, so basically this part will be, you would take the needle out. Needle out, you would put the, the throttle cable in there they'll sit right there then you put the needle back in here and before you pull it out just remember what slot you had it on so there's four or five slots here and just remember to put it back to the slot you had it on and once you got that part then this will sit in here and then the spring goes or the spring would go through the go through the throttle cable and that part will be already in here so actually yeah so the throttle cable go through here go through here and this part will be already uh, set up here so once you have it in there then you just tighten it there is a slot in here which goes on this part so that would go right there and you would just tighten it up the complete carburetor Thanks.